saturated the wall. The wall has been painted over once before, trying to mask it. It did not work, so this is why I've got called in to uh, do this wall correctly. How we're going to do this is actually use a very common uh, item you're going to see in uh, any of your major stores, which is kills, and this is a premium. So this blocks heavy stains for fewer top coats. So we're going to try this with a one coat first, we're going to put it on nice and smoothly. The second thing is, we'll come back and do a test 24 hours. Now Kiehl's does say that you can apply top coats two hours uh, after, and what I'm going to do is do uh, one coat first, see if it leaks through, and then if it passed the test, it does not leak through, then we're going to go ahead and finish out the paint on this. Okay, what you can see here is I've taken a little giant ladder and have inverted it on the steps. So I have a staircase coming down, then I have a staircase coming up to meet that on a landing. So what I've done is just shorten one of the legs, put it on the upper part coming down, and then made this up against the wall vertical so I can climb up here and get into the very corner and uh, do my cut in. Different ways to cut in. One is I just do it freehand. Just take a little bit of the lead of the paint where it's wet. And come up there real slowly. Take that and do it freehand. Just take your time. And you can feed that right there to the corner. Just like so. Now the art behind this is to take your time. Don't get in a hurry. Just use a little bit of a paint. Draw a straight line down and keep moving it over until you come in contact with the corner. So you can just feed it in like that. Again, you want to come back in and keep that edge dry. Now when you come back over, you want to at least get, um, oh I'd say, I like to do it at least two brush lengths, brush widths across. The reason is when I come with my roller, I don't have to go all the way up or all the way over, I can just lead it uh, to a side there. Okay, as you can see, I've already primed the entire wall there where the stain was, so it's ready to go. I've waited this time 24 hours to make sure that the paint was completely covering the stain, and it has not bled through. I did go back and put a top coat on top, of that same area where that was just to give me some extra uh, assurance that the stain was not going to bleed through. Now I'm ready to go ahead and put my final coat on and I'm using a one coat type of paint in addition to going on top of the kills. So again the process is just go through, cut in all the areas and then fill that in. This is Rick Patterson with the Handyman Toolbox. By the way, before you go, I want to encourage you to check out my other videos, and you'll see a link below. Click on it, the 1,000th person that subscribes to thehandymantoolbox.com gets a free tool. Go ahead and register now. See you there.